everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I'm back after a nice week's holiday. So I am rested, rejuvenated, all that lovely stuff. So yeah, it's been a nice week with friends and family. So first project to kickstart the new week is this really lovely purse, which is a gift card holder. Now I love this and I think a lot of you are gonna really enjoy it. So it's a double wallet. So this was actually a request from my mum and it's inspired by her own purse. Um, and obviously I put my spin on it. So the front here, you just lift this up. It's a little Velcro dot. You can probably, you know, put a magnet there if you want. And this is your coin side. So you can pop some money in there. It will also fit a gift card as well if you'd like to. And then on this side here, if you lift up this piece, it will open up just like a wallet. So here you have, I've, I haven't brought the gift cards yet, so this is my Boots Advantage card. Then I have one of these nice little friendship cards that one of my close friends gave me. And there are three little slots actually. So you've got one there, one there, and this is my Hobby Craft Club card. That one can go in there as well. So my idea is, is that the person that I'm gonna be giving this to, I'm actually gonna buy her three different gift cards with a smaller denomination on. So, you know, once they all add up, it's a nice gift for three places that I know that she loves. And then I'm gonna pop a couple in there. I'm gonna get a little friendship card as well. One of these, you can pick these up in lots of the card shops. So although I don't buy cards anymore, they do have these nice little um, friendship cards that you can purchase for about a pound. And then you've got three slots on this side as well. And then also here you have an area to pop your money. So there is just a 20 pound note in that one, but it's a big area so it should fit most nationalities currency. So I know some have got much larger notes. It is a large area, you can see there. 20 pound note is quite big anyway, but you can see how big that area is. So it should fit dollars and things like that quite easily. And then that closes up with a Velcro. Now it's chunky, it's got bulk to it, that's nice. That's what a wallet or a purse is like. So you can make this wider, so if you want it or longer very easily um, and again once you see how I put it together it's dead simple so this is using the first edition gardenia papers and I finished it off with the um, butterfly die there from hobby base and then these are just some brads I actually cut the split pin part of it off and then just put some hot glue and just stuck them down and then I've also used a velcro dot there as well so really straightforward to make so let's crack on Okay, so just a few pieces here. So I'm gonna be doing this one using the Mariposa papers and the one before was using the Gardenia. Okay, so there are lots of pieces to this. I think what I will do is, rather than go through all the measurements in one go, they'll all be listed on my blog, but I think what I'll do now is I'll just go through as and when you know we need them. So first of all, we will start to make this pocket side here so the coin purse side okay so you will need a piece of eight make sure that was eight so i've got my smaller scoreboard here yeah eight so this is handy to use that's why i've used these ones here because these are eight by eight so this is a piece of eight by four and a quarter and along the eight inch side you want to score in half at four okay and then fold that in half so already now it's giving me this piece here because what will happen is the basis of this is these two sides will stick together one side becomes our coin purse and one side becomes our wallet where we've got all our cards and everything okay so before we stick them together so just stick with one of them for the moment and then we want to make these side pieces so I'd already gone and prepped some pieces so these bits here so these are gonna be our little side bits here. So you want two pieces. I've got a contrasting color here, so it's all part of the same collection, but this is this pearlized card, and I just thought that'd be nice on the sides. So this is two and a half by four and a half. Okay, and along the two and a half inch side, you want to score at a quarter of an inch, one and a quarter, and then two and a quarter, okay? So you'll have two quarter inch sides and then that centre score line. And what you want to do is fold the two outer score lines so they are mountain folds and then that middle one will go into a valley fold. So that is the shape that you want. Get it on an area you can see, there we go. And you want two pieces, okay? Now I've already gone and stuck double sided tape on those side pieces and I've just taken a little wedge off the edges as well so we don't get anything sticking out. So if I grab my tool here if you do one side at a time okay so I'm going to start with this side here and I'm going to turn it over and you want to marry up the score line here with the outer side of this piece and again it should be the exact same size if it comes up slightly 
higher, then we can trim that. Because for some reason, yeah, mine's come up a little bit higher. Can you see that it's just poking over the top? But we can trim that. Make sure you get it right to the bottom, okay? So you've got that piece, and then this, this valley fold should be inside, all right? Because this is going to create our side piece. And then fold that piece over, take off this one here. Now, if you want, you can do both of these sides so have that one stuck there now and then fold this piece over. I prefer to do it actually separate and just kind of lift this open a little bit um, just because I just yeah I think I just got a bit more control so I'm just going to hold that piece down and then fold this piece. I use my pokey tool here. If you're using wet glue then obviously yours will stick down much quicker it's just I don't want to get any of my um, don't want to keep putting my fingers on it. Okay, so now we've got our side there. But because I've got a little bit coming out over the top, so I'm just going to keep it flat and then I'm just going to trim, come with this side actually, just trim that top piece off. Like so. Okay, so it's nice and neat again. So if you do have that, make sure you get it right to the bottom and then anything that may overhang, you can trim off easily. Okay, and then again the same with this side here. So I'm going to take one piece off. I'm just going to open it up there and then just sit this one down. In fact, let's try it up that way. There we go. Maybe that way might be a bit easier. And then you can kind of work it. There we go. And look, that one isn't. So I must have gone a little bit taller with that side because that one fits in perfectly. So that one's folded over there. Push that piece inside like so. And then take the backing off of here and then this one I'm just going to fold in push it in with my pokey tool because that's easy to pull out and then again I can just tack the bottom piece down and then work my way up and again nothing's sticking out the top there so that piece is fitted in perfectly that one I must have just cut a bit odd but now you've got your little coin purse side okay then you've got your flap okay so this is this piece here without the circle dies stuck on top so this piece measures two by four and a quarter okay and along the two inch side you want to score at half an inch okay and then fold that in half then I've stuck this layer on top and this piece measures one and a quarter by four Okay, so I'm dropping down quarter of an inch increments each time. I've popped some double sided tape on the back um, kind of tab piece there. So just remove the backing. I've already gone and made sure it's stuck down. Now have a look if you've got a preference to maybe one side that's better than the other because one side is going to be completely covered. Okay, so I know this is beautiful, but you'll see it, like I said, once that one's down, you're going to see that side of it anyway. So I am going to have. I think this one here, it's got a few more darker purples. So this piece here, fold it over and you just want to lie it on the side where you haven't stuck the tape down so you can really get it right up to the score line. Make sure your sides are all even and then you can just fold that back piece over just with your bone folder. So basically all you've made now is this nice little pocket which will open up like so. Okay, so this is that other half there. So what you need now is all these pieces here so I've got two two and two now this is optional and this is going to give us all the pockets either side okay so we've got the three pockets there and then three pockets there this back piece here is a decorative piece so this is this piece that I've got here now this piece measures at four by it's just shy it's seven and seven eighths of an inch okay now we're going to stick this a little bit differently so let me just show you so what you want to do is flip it over now I'm going to use double sided tape I've got a thin one here you can use um, wet glue but I find this red tape just works really well and it's good for this project so I'm just going to go around and you want to stick it onto the two sides and one long side okay you're going to leave one long side open because that's how we're going to pop the money in okay so I've popped it on all three sides and then I'm going to take all of the backing off and then you're going to start with one side and you want to make sure you get this right up to the bottom left hand corner and then make sure it goes up nicely on that side there 
Okay, and you can trim away any little bits that you might have. Okay, and you want there to be a gap. Okay, so it's supposed to be like that. And then go along. It should meet up with the middle score line. Okay, and now when you go to stick down the other half, bring it up to a right angle and then stick it down. Okay, now the reason I do say this, although mine's just gone wonky there, it's okay, I can trim it. It means that you will get this to open and close much, much better. Okay, so I'm just going to trim. I've gone a little bit wonky there. Now the reason I've done it like that is because when you open it, you're not going to open it right up so it's flat. You just you open it like this, so it's kind of on that right angle, and you get a much nicer finish. Whereas if you were to lie that down completely flat, which now I can't do, and that's fine, that you want it to kind of open up like this. Um, when you go to close it, it would just all buckle. It just wouldn't look very nice. Okay, so now that's ready to pop all of these sections in. So these are for our pockets either side of this piece here. So it's up to you again how many you want, but you're going to need two pieces that are three by four, two pieces that are two and a half by four, and then two pieces that are two by four. Okay. I'll show you one side and then I will go and do the other side off camera or just on fast forward. So the biggest one is the one you're going to stick down first and you're going to stick it so it lines right up with that score line there. Now what you want to do though is to make sure that when you pop the card in, the gift card, see the, the deepest one here, that gift card won't go down any further because I've made sure I've stuck enough down at the bottom so that they all stick out by the same amount. And by doing that, if you take a gift card, like this one here, I'm going to flip it over and you lay it down on the larger one so it's overhanging by about half an inch. And then I'm going to grab my tape and I'm going to stick tape along the highest kind of area to kind of stick down, like so. All right, now I can get rid of the gift card and then I can just pop some more tape down there. Again, I'm not going to cover this too much because it's it's only really decorative. It's not, you know, you don't need to go crazy. And then I'm just going to pop a thin piece of tape. You can use wet glue, but what I would say is you want to be very sparing because when you stick this down, if you're wet, if you put too much on and it all oozes out, you won't get the gift card in because too much of the area is going to stick down. So yeah, I would say just use um, tape if possible. So I'm just going to make sure that all sticks down like so. Take off all the backing. Okay, and then like I said, make sure you butt it right up as close, leave, maybe leave a little bit, but get it as close to that as possible. It's the same width as this, so it should just line up nicely there, and then you can just go and stick that down. Okay, now when I go to pop this card in, just start it off a bit. It won't go down any further because of where I've stuck the tape down. So it's just a nice way for that person to see the gift card or the you know the friend friendship card or something that you may have given them again with the next one you don't need to do it with the smallest one but the next one do the same again making sure you've got about half an inch of the card overhanging and run some tape and I will stick some more tape down oh, along the sides exactly the same way and then this one here you should only have to overhang it by the amount you would and then just stick some tape. So I'm actually going to pop the thinner tape along that one there. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. You want to do that on both sides. You may only want to have two on each side. You may, you know, not want to do that at all. You might want to put a little message or a sentiment in here. So there's, again, there's lots and lots of ways to adapt this. Um, you may just be putting some actual money in the form of you know notes in there. I think it would be lovely for someone who is going traveling. Um, you could put the currency of the country that they're traveling to in there. You could you know make a wedding style and obviously pop gift cards that they've requested or again money for maybe their honeymoon that they might have requested. If somebody is going away, you know, you might be going to say Disneyland and maybe surprising somebody. What a nice way to surprise them. You could put the tickets for the holiday in the, the larger section. So I think there's lots and lots of ways to, you know, use this for many, many occasions. So I've just popped the tape on there. And then the next one, again, you're going to line it up with the very bottom of that one that you stuck down earlier. 
and it again should all line up nicely with the other sides and then the last one again line it up the very bottom like so and now again I'm just going to test it so I pop that one in there like so get my hobby craft one and then my friendship card like so so I'm going to go and stick these three down on that side exactly the same way Okay, so that is now that side done. And again, I've got all the room there to pop the money in if I need to. So next what we're going to do is we're going to stick this piece onto the back of this one here. I'm probably going to stick that side there actually for some reason. There we go. I think I just needed to fold it better. So that now will sit perfectly over the back there. You can see how that sits. Now because I'm using this textured cardstock, I'm actually going to cover the back of this with my thicker red tape because my wet glue will just not last with all of this kind of glitter. So I'm not going to go right to the very bottom because by now yours is probably starting to kind of arch a little bit because obviously you are folding quite a lot of cardstock. Um, but again, it all adds to the look and we will be covering it with this decorative piece in the at the bottom once we've done it all. So I'm just going to cover the back of this completely. Okay, so now I'm going to go and stick this one down. So I'm going to start with the bottom first. Because like I said, if you are slightly out, you can always trim the top. And I knew I would forget. So luckily, before I push this down too much, before you stick the two together, you need to add this piece, which is this one here. Can you see it's kind of hidden between? So I literally just went to stick it all down and then realised. So this piece here is, this is what I mean, there's so many bits to it. I just want to make sure I give them to you all at the right time. Okay, so this is two and three quarters by one and a half. And along the two and three quarters side, you just want to score it half an inch and fold in half. Then I've got these little mats and layers on top. And again, if you want to add those pieces on, the next one is two by one and a quarter. And then the smaller one again is one and three quarters by one. All these measurements will be on my blog. On the other side, I'd already popped some double-sided tape. So see, I had it all ready to go. And then what you want to do, so you, I've got all the static. You wouldn't have stuck yours together yet, but this piece here will go in the middle on the back side there, like so. And the idea is everything's concealed like that. Okay, so now that one will come over like so. So next I'm going to add a Velcro dot. You can use magnets if you want. I just don't really use them on these kind of projects because, as I always say, eventually they just go in the bin and magnets are not cheap and I would rather put them on my mini albums and um, those things get kept. So I don't mind a Velcro dot being thrown because they're pretty inexpensive. So I'm going to pop one on the back there and then fold the whole thing over, stick the other side down, and then you should be able to lift it up nicely and you know it's all lined up. So that's that side there, I think that looks great. This side here, I don't know what I wanna do in terms of decoration, because I don't know who I'm gonna give this one to. This one, I already know what I'm doing with it, so that's why I've added the butterfly. But this one here, I'm not too sure. So what you will do is add two circle dies if you want to use circle you might want to use square dies and pop a sentiment on stick half of it onto this piece and then put your velcro dot on the circle okay so you can see what i've done there alternatively just pop your velcro dot there and close it i'm thinking that's what i'm going to do for this one for the time being because i can still add a, a, a shape or something over the top still um and still keep the velcro in that place so take those off Pop the two, the pair in the middle there, and then fold that over. 
okay so it's like so and then the last piece is this piece here and this is to decorate the bottom so basically it just covers that join see you don't have to add it because all it is is those two bits that you can see which isn't a bad thing but I just thought it was a nice added extra so this is one by four and a quarter and along the one inch side you want to score at half an inch and fold that in half and then I've already popped double sided tape on the back side here and you want to hug the outer side more than the score line okay and then again start with one side so I'm going to go in here first to make sure my score line is as kind of on the bottom part as possible and again it's easy to trim if you need to but that's that piece stuck down and then just curve it over and it is quite bulky on the bottom so don't worry you know too much if you've got more on one side see I've got less on this side and I've got more on that side but it, it really doesn't matter they both look nice and by the time I add something else there but that is it it's a really lovely it's quite chunky I don't know something I love that about you know when you add all your papers together it's like a bit like a mini album I just think it's, it's it's just lovely really really nice so that is now ready to fill decorate a little bit further if I need to but that side obviously opens up like so and then this side you have your coin purse you could pop the little card in there you could pop a little what size pocket is this this is a four by four so you could do a three and a half by three and a half card and this could be the envelope and you could pop that in there which is actually probably now what I will do because I won't be putting loose coins in here that was more decorative than anything I was probably just going to put a little friendship card in that section but now I think I'm going to put an actual card in there and then all the gifts and everything will be on this side here. So that one actually, I guess they don't open upside down because it doesn't really matter which way. So if you do that one, open that one first, I guess, and then it's up that way with the money there, and then close, and then open your coin that side, and then this one, I've got the coin that side, flip it over, and then that's upside down. So on this one, it's that way up, and on that one, it's the pocket up. So it doesn't matter either way. Um, how you do it it's just like a normal purse there you have it guys my gift card or gift wallets purses I'm not again too sure exactly what they are but I really like them inspired and requested by my mum so mum I hope you like it and I love to see her versions when she does them no doubt she'll share them over on mixed up crafters and I encourage any of you that do make any of the tutorials that, that I share please go and share them over on the group as well. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you like it. As always, please give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.